rap, yo. We feature all local, independent, underground artists. artists. When I say local, I just mean local. Like the ones that live next door to you that you ain't heard yet. Feel me? Feel me? Yeah, the slept on motherfuckers. The overlooked ass dudes. The underrated. The ones that's finna be legends, son. You know? Without too much more fucking talking. It's a rap, yo. Hey, yo, what's good, family? We're back. With another reaction. This time we got somebody new. That we've only heard when we react to Peaceful's songs. Peaceful is the one that requested this. He requested this last night in the live. But like, uh, I don't know. Peaceful gets, you know, Peaceful thinks that, I, you know, sometimes I, I get, you know, um, annoyed with him. And he kind of left. I think he thought I was annoyed with him. I wasn't annoyed. It's just the way I am sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, I got resting bitch face. I got resting bitch voice. So it's so like, <laughs> everybody always thinks I'm angry. But this is uh, Subcon. I just dropped my uh, like and my sub. Got the bell ringing. Um, the jam we listened to last night in the live was Peaceful to End Subcon. It, it was featuring Subcon. Subcon mixed the, the track. It was called uh, Devil's Master. It's part lyric video animated and stuff um really dope video really dope uh production the mix was on fire you know what i'm saying uh i feel like uh peaceful has grown a lot he's taken a lot of the advice that i've given him about uh his his vocal and he's put it to work and like you can t you can hear the change and the growth and everything i think it's really cool i'm glad the homie subcon is helping him out you know, uh, making this stuff sound really nice, you know what I'm saying, uh, so people wanted me to listen to this in the live, didn't get to it, so, we're here today for that, you know, I didn't play it because Peaceful left, I, and I wanted him to be there for it, I wanted him to see it, I don't feel like people go back and watch four or five hour lives, it was at the end of the live when he requested it, so I was like, I, I'm not sure if he would have went and saw it, you know what I mean, so I want him to see this, um, so, Subcon's links will be in the description. I don't know where he is on Twitter, if he's on Twitter or Instagram, but we'll find him. We'll find him if he's on SoundCloud, Spotify. We'll find the homie, feel me? And we'll link it all in the description. And, um, well, before we get started, if you're not sub to this channel yet, you know what to do. Slide that screen up a little bit and knock out that sub button and crack that notification button. Get that thing to ring I don't know why these folks keep calling me. These folks keep calling me and I keep ignoring them, but they've been calling me for weeks, bruh. Weeks. Every day. Four or five times a day. Leave me alone. Alright, we're here for this, man. I hope you grab that sub and that bell, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we doing a lot of variety on the channel. There's a lot of unexpected things going on in the channel. so And there's a lot of dope shit coming up. You're going to want to be notified. Just say it. Can you smell me? Oh. 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 My bad. It's Subcon. Wax Wings. Official lyric video. Let's go. Ooh, there's a war in my mind and now I'm losing. I try to concentrate on the grind, but it's diffusing. Yo, I like my I, yo. That's one thing that I noticed last night, man. I love this dude's voice, man. I love this dude's vocal. It's fucking, it's on point. He doesn't go all uh, weird, pitchy, you know, and uh, try to do like crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's all keyed up, real nice. Like, I, I'm fucking with this. I'm fucking with this. Uh, I call it flow. Whether it's singing or it's rapping, how you deliver your lyrics is your flow. And it all should flow like water, you know, fluid, you know. it's. And this dude's nice with it, man. Nice with it. 
thinking I'm confused every morning Why do I do this? It's gotten so useless It's found of you There's a statement of my it's gotten so useless, this fountain of youth is a figment of my mind. So you can't stay young forever, you know what I'm saying? You, uh, you gotta grow, you know what I'm saying? You gotta grow. And, uh, man, you know, as you grow, you, you're getting older, you know what I'm saying? But, doesn't mean your, uh, your, uh, skill, you know, or your grind has to suffer, you know what I'm saying? But I, I get what he's saying, like, this fountain of youth is a figment of my mind, like, <sighs> I'm still a kid at heart, bro, so, like, you can't tell me it's a figment of my mind, like, I'm gonna stay young, bro, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay 17 for the rest of my motherfucking life, you know, watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and motherfucking Transformers and motherfucking Beast Wars and, you know, all that shit, I'm gonna stay young, you know, and I'll, and, one of the things that happened to me when I was young is I experienced music, but when I was really young, I experienced music and I experienced how it made me feel. And I knew that music was always going to be that tool for me to cope with things. You know what I'm saying? When things get hard, when things get painful, you know, there's always going to be a song or a collection of songs, you know, that I could go to. To get me out of those painful places, you know what I'm saying? Take my mind to a better, a better state, you know. Get my energy to a more positive place, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna stay that. I'm gonna stay that young, bro. Like, cause that's for me. That's how I grow, you know. I use those experiences that happened to me when I was young to uh, make better choices. And stuff like that. You know what I mean? But I get it. The war in your mind. You know. It, it's hard to win that war. I don't think you ever win it per se. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're always going to be going through those things. Those things that um, you're constantly are thinking about. They're always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Your worries. Your fears. Your anxieties. You just got to find tools to cope. Uh, for artists, I believe. It, and, and it's for me too. Because I write. You know. I haven't wrote in a while. But like I write. I write poetry, I write, I, I write my feelings down, like, whether they're negative feelings or they're, they're positive feelings, I write my feelings down, and I can be done with it, you know, I can move on, you know, into a different experience, better, different opportunities, you know what I'm saying, so, just keep writing, bro, just keep writing, you know what I'm saying, and the, the, the fountain of youth, that whole idea of staying young, yeah, you don't stay young in reality, but, like, in our heart and in our mind, we can stay young. I can't bear the weight of these wax wings anymore. So, wax wings, they'd be, they'd be fake, you know what I mean? It'd be something that's not there. Like, so, like, I feel like I'm flying, I feel like I'm rising, but, like, there's all these things, all this negative pressure in, in me, and negative things, things that go on in my mind, you know what I'm saying? That keep weighing me down those are the wax wings you know those are what's stopping you from actually flying and go and reaching the heights that you're capable of you know <laughs>
great great beat man mix is uh mix is perfect man dude this is really this is really 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 good um I love what you're talking about, bro. Because it's something it, we we all experience this. Whether we let it, whether we let it, uh, you know, control us, or we let it, you know, take over, you know, uh, take over our mind, um, or not. Like we all experience these things. You know what I'm saying? And just bringing light to that, like that, some people don't handle things the same way. You know. A lot of the negative energy, especially like social media energy, will really, really work your 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 mental man. Like it's not good for you. You know what I'm saying? There isn't enough positive energy that lives on social media that can be helpful. You know, we have to use social media in a way that. Um, allows us to like be us you know what i'm saying be who we want to be you know because on social media it doesn't matter people can't see who you are they can't see your your appearance your outward appearance so you can be who you are inside on social media we use it as a tool to be ourselves and to connect further with others you know that may be going through the same things maybe you don't have anything in common maybe they just like your music you know what i'm saying but it's, uh, we got to use it as a tool, man, every day, especially if we're, you know, uh, if, if our career choice is art, music, whatever art you choose, yeah, if you want people to see it, there's only really one way to do that, and that's use social media, you know, because you're, you're, it allows you to reach across the fucking globe you know and that's the thing though like people especially me gets too involved and let's uh you know like i'm passionate about everything i do so that passion sometimes can be a fault you know it can work your online relationships in, uh, negatively you know so really got to learn how to separate like the uh the tool from the game because social media is a game you know it's if you, if you use it right and you don't oh i mean because it's like a drug man it's addictive as hell if you use it right and you don't abuse it you don't overdose on it you know what i'm saying it can be very helpful but if we're not using it right, it can be toxic, very toxic for our mental health. Because like I said, there's there's not enough positivity living in social media to create a positive energy. I don't know if that makes any sense, man, but... Beat switch, beat change. Oh, I like this. I like this. So when I fall, don't catch me. That break was so fucking dope, dude. So f let's hear that break again, man. That thing was nice. So Those couple claps. That bass and then the that lead back into the to the melody and shit with the 808 come on man that was fucking fire dude nice work
sick, 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 sick. Fucking solid, fucking jank right there, bro. Solid, fucking jank right there, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know why I say everything twice, but that's just me. Call me, call me Robbie two times. <laughs> oh man, that was dope, man. Um, like I said, man, mix, beat, everything, man. That was so fucking fire, dude. I love what you're talking about in this. Man, I don't really got too much more to say about it. I know that only says 298 subs, but I did just sub, so let's see. We'll, re we'll refresh it, just so the homie knows. 299. You know what I'm saying? Go sub the homie, follow the homie. Let him know what you thought. Let him know I sent you. Drop them likes and all that. You know what I'm saying? Show that love, baby. Show that love. That shit was... Mm, mm, mm. All right, man. All right. Make sure you grab them links for me and the homies at LG2. Our websites, my Twitter, Insta, Gmail, donations, merch, all that, man. Show that love. That's how we do it. Let's get the word out of... Yeah, yeah, right there, right there. Let's get the word out, man. Let your homies hear it. You know, share it. Do that thing. LG2. Let's get the word word out <laughs> yo family man thanks for rocking with me and the homie subcon thank you peaceful for linking me to this this was really dope yo fam to the next one it's a wrap yo peace